question. I'll say before we go to questions that uh, they make light of their, uh, not light, but they, they say it's a no-brainer to endorse me. It's very tough uh, for a member of another party to endorse somebody uh, in this type of field or, or process. And I truly appreciate the confidence these gentlemen have in me and some others that we've talked with you about before that have uh, crossed the aisle that are tired of uh, partisanship and trying to get to solutions. And certainly I agree that the national level as well as our state, uh, I'd like to think I'm part of the solution, not part of the problem. So with that, questions? I guess I'd ask uh, with Frank and Lane here, was, was this a close call? Did they, either one of you ever consider uh, endorsing Mike Erickson in the race? No. Why not? Uh, because I knew Kurt was running. So more more more, more pro Kurt than anti Eric. Yeah, or? yeah. I'm I'm not here to speak against anybody. Uh, yeah. My point is that uh, we have uh, uh, what I consider to be the top candidate in the race in this room, and that's the candidate uh, who I'm backing. No, it, it it really wasn't a close call for me. Politically, it was it is a close call. Uh, but from a, just a personal judgment standpoint, no. I did uh, alert my central committee uh, in advance, uh, and I said I'd like to come visit, and I did. I visited with our central committee. Uh, they were not happy. They were very unhappy, but by the time, an hour later, after we went through the conversations, and I fielded the questions and explained why I'm endorsing Senator Schrader, uh, there was a, an awareness that, okay, yeah. Uh, so I, I think that I got through that, that hurdle. But uh, Well, I, obviously your, your position is pro Schrader, but I guess what I'd say, but, but is there also anti erickson involved? Uh, I, you know, I don't think it probably serves this purpose well for me to, uh, to make a comment in that, in that regard. Other than just state, I think that uh, Senator Schrader is the most qualified candidate. And uh, and so for that reason, I'm endorsing him. Senator Morris, uh, Senator Schrader is known for his directness. Do you think sometimes he's too direct? Uh, I suppose it depends on the answer that you're getting. I mean, <laughs> if it's what you want to hear, they'll know you love directness. If it isn't, then maybe you don't like it. Uh, you know, I, in my background in, in running a business, I always like straight shooters. And you like good information, and you like people to express that their uh, opinions and do it in a constructive way, and that's what I found with, uh, with Senator Schrader. I very much enjoyed working with him on some big issues in this state, and, uh, and I, I just have confidence in him as a, as a legislator and as a friend. Let me go back a few years. I recall it in the discussions on the power sharing arrangement. Uh, a Democrat would be president, but uh, originally the uh, Ways and Means co-chair was slated to be Republican. But when, uh, but uh, I believe your caucus came out strongly that uh, Trader worthy, uh, Senator Trader worthy person for that slot, they would gladly accept him. Yes, we, in, in fact, it was the Republican caucus that chose Senator Schrader to be co-chair of Ways and Means in 2003. That was, a, that was a decision of the Republican caucus, which I think is a reflection of why uh, Lane Shetterly and I are here today to endorse him, is a confidence in his ability. Apologize for being late, but could you just sum up uh, your support again for Senator Schrader? Uh, why I'm supporting Senator Schrader? Well, as I stated, the whole legislative process is one of relationships, and relationships work only when you have a foundation of trust. And clearly, I trust Senator Schrader. I don't always agree with him, but I do trust him, uh, and relationships are built on that trust. And, and the other reason that, that I think is uh, really salient here is the fact that uh, my Republican caucus recognized that in 2003 when they selected Senator Schrader to be the co-chair of Ways and Means. Anything else? Uh, Kerr, are there any other Republican, uh, Republicans uh, who have endorsed your policy? Uh, a few. Uh, Janet Carlson, uh, County Commissioner here in Marion County, uh, Wade Byers, uh, Mayor up in uh, Gladstone. Uh, I think there's a uh, Mark Laphart over in the coast, County Commissioner in Kilmer County. Um, there's a few others probably escaping me at this moment. I like
quite the geographic diversity, frankly. My parents, we got Bull County, Bennett County, we got Baltimore County, Marion County, Clackamas County. So hopefully that's it. hopefully that'll play out in the election process. I think people again want someone that is not into partisan politics, but into being solution oriented. I, I love working with these guys. I mean, uh, I probably work more with Frank and Lane than most of my Democratic colleagues in the state legislature. And it's about, like these guys said, about establishing good relationship and these two gentlemen are solution oriented and that's, uh, I think that's what I'm all about too. Uh, questions for Senator Morris. Um, you talked a little bit about the Central Committee being a little upset with your decision. Are you worried it's going to come back to haunt you when you have to run for a re-election? Well, that's a very good question. Um, and, and I think my response to that is uh, I'm a Republican, but I serve the entire district. I serve Democrats and I serve independents. And uh, you don't get elected unless you're, at least in my district, very polarized. I have a very conservative part of the district and a very, uh, you might say, liberal, more moderate side. So you have to strike that balance. But I, quite honestly, the political ramifications of my decision to endorse Senator Schrader, uh, I, I did not weigh the political risk. I just said this is the right thing to do, and so let's let's go. Uh, 